March 9, Monday of the second week of Lent. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, Be merciful just as your Father is merciful. Stop judging and you will not be judged. Stop condemning and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Give and gifts will be given to you. A good measure packed together, shaken down and overflowing will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will in turn be measured out to you. The Gospel of the Lord Be merciful. The Gospel contains five succinct commands. Be merciful, do not judge, do not condemn, forgive, give. However, one may validly assert that Jesus' first injunction, Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful, is virtually a summary of Luke's entire gospel. We call Luke's mercy parables of the lost sheep and the lost son. Indeed, Monica Helwig's Christology book title is a perfect description of our Lord, Jesus, the compassion of God. Pope Francis writes in Misericordia Vultus, Mercy finds its most noble and complete expression in the incarnate word. Jesus reveals the face of the Father who is rich in mercy. Jesus' very person is nothing to but love, a love given gratuitously. The sign he works, especially in the face of sinners, the poor, the marginalized, the sick, and the suffering, are all meant to teach mercy. Everything in him speaks of mercy. Nothing in him is devoid of compassion. Jesus is mercy made flesh. Am I truly a person who manifests God's compassion to others? What are some concrete ways that I can practice mercy in action? <music>